Hello friend welcome to the channel pharmacy dictionary in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the different sources of drug let me clear you what is the meaning of drug drug is any agent which is used for the diagnosis prevention or treatment of any disease or any disorder and simplest meaning or we can say the conversion of english to hindi means source matlab hota hai kahan se lena so source of drug means from where we are getting any drug is considered as a source of drug so let's start different sources of drug if you would like to classify the sources of drug then may we easily classify it as mineral animal plant microorganism synthetic genetic engineering or biotechnology we can say and biological product so let's start the description of main sources of drug from mineral sources from mineral sources we obtain liquid paraffin which is a important constituent or we can say ingredient in cosmetic technology there are so many cosmetic product which are made from liquid paraffin this is used as a base also so next one is magnesium sulfate if someone is having less amount of magnesium in his blood sample then we have to manage the level of magnesium and to manage that level we need magnesium sulfate apart from this balancing activity magnesium sulfate is also used in case of epilepsy and to manage the tremors apart from the magnesium sulfate there are other example of mineral source like kaolin or clay which is another constituent of cosmetic product next one is aluminum trisilicate which is used as a anti heartburn drug or we can say simply it is used as a anti acid aluminum trisilicate and magnesium trisilicate are also used sometime as a together combination form next one is animal source animal source of drug are very important but not as important as plant source so the example of drug which are obtained from animal source are heparin what is heparin and why heparin is used for heparin is example of an anti coagulant what is a coagulation coagulation is a process in which a blood get clot inside the blood vessel if the blood clot inside the blood vessel it may cause so many problem and complication if the clotting is in blood they may cause brain hemorrhage if the clotting is available in the cardiac that means a coronary artery that may it may lead to the anginal pain so it is very essential very vital to dissolve that clot which is being clotted inside the blood vessel to dissolve that clot we need heparin next one is gonadotropins this gonadotropins are sexual hormones which are very essential for the primary and secondary sexual characteristic in male as well as in female also they are responsible for the manufacturing or we can say synthesis of sperm and ovum respectively in male and female so if any woman who is pregnant the urine from that particular woman can be used as a source of gonadotropin after particular filtration and isolation or screening next one is anti toxic sera in case of snake bite there is a chances of toxic material getting inside our body to neutralize that poison we need anti snake venom and that is also obtained from animal source also next one is cod liver oil cod liver oil means a oil which is obtained by extraction of liver of cod which is a type of a fish so this cod liver oil is very important as a nutraceutical and also to manage different bodies balance like it is important for the eyesight it is used to increase the eyesight eye vision the next one is insulin out of this animal source insulin is very important insulin is a hormone we can say endocrine gland secreted hormone the main physiological activity or role of insulin is to balance the level of glucose in blood if there is improper amount of insulin available in the blood there is a 100% chances to elevation of blood sugar level and if we do not supply that insulin in short interval that may convert it into a hyperglycemic condition or in general language we can say that lack of insulin can be result into diabetes mellitus so this insulin can be obtained from the porcine and bovine pancreas and these are animals so we can say this insulin is also obtained from animal source next one is plant source i have included few example here but in later slide i will give you the complete description about the plant source this is one of the most important source of drug under the plant source we obtain digoxin which is a cardiac glycoside and the use of digoxin is very important in cardiac function it is used to prevent congestive heart failure next one is reserpine which is also a important constituent from the plant source silimarine is very vital drug as a liver tonic 
if there is a liver cirrhosis or any kind of liver problem then silymarine milk thesset is very vital for that condition next one quinine and quinidine which are obtained from cinchona bark quinine is example of anti malarial drug and quinidine is used to, to balance the improper rhythm or i can say it is used as a anti arrhythmic drug that means ए रिदम जो होता है उसको काउंटर बैलेंस करने के लिए हम यूज करते हैं उसे हम क्विनिडीन कहते हैं सो द एक्शन ऑफ क्विनिडीन इज टू बैलेंस द रिदम ऑफ हार्ट नेक्स्ट वन विन क्रिस्टिन एंड विन ब्लास्टिन विच आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम कैंथरस रोजियस और विनका अल्कोलाइड वी कैन से दैट विन क्रिस्टिन एंड विन ब्लास्टिन और ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम विनका रोजिया दीज आर सो इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग इन केस ऑफ कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट थेरेपी दीज आर यूज टू इनहिबिट द एक्सेसिव एंड अनकंट्रोल ग्रोथ ऑफ एनी सेल एंड टू प्रिवेंट द अनकंट्रोल ग्रोथ ऑफ सेल द नेक्स्ट वन इज एट्रोपिन विच इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम एट्रोपा बेलाडोना activity of atropine is most of the case used as a antidote for the organophosphate poisoning next morphine and codeine which are obtained from papaver somniferum morphine and codeine are so potent analgesic drug which are used to get relief from the severe pain next one microorganism microorganism are those agent which cannot be seen by naked eyes but because of microorganism we are getting so many beneficial drug like example of bacteria fungi and different other microorganism which are isolated from the soil are very important source of antibiotics so antibiotics are mostly obtained from this kind of microorganism apart from antibiotics we can also get different enzyme erythropoietin substance which are used for the production of erythrocyte that mean red blood cell next one is synthetic source if we are not able to get that drug from any of the above source then we have to synthesize in chemical laboratory example include non steroidal anti inflammatory drug that is also considered as a nsaid hypnotics which cause calmness with inducing sleep anti cancer agent like alkylating agent and other nitrogen mustard and other these are drug which are used for the control of growth of any cell that become cancerous cell and ACE inhibitor that means angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor this ACE drug captopril enalapril lincopril are used to manage the hypertensive condition that means they give relief from the hypertension next one is genetic engineering or simply we can say biotechnology with the help of recombinant dna technology or r dna technology we can derive insulin and hepatitis b vaccine as you have seen in earlier topic insulin is a drug which get obtained from animal source but it is not as easy as we think it is next to impossible to manage the level of insulin by utilizing animal only so we need some other alternative and the genetic engineering or biotechnology is another alternative for the production of insulin our dna technology means recombination we have to recombine the sequence of genetic material next one is biological biological source give us growth factor monoclonal antibody which are obtained specifically by giving specific antigen on the rat so that the rat may produce a specific antibody for given antigen cytokines which are important inflammatory mediators so these are means biological agent are heterogeneous group and include complex protein molecule that interact with cytokines or cell surface marker to inhibit any specific or undesirable function these are important sources of drug now we have to see plant as a main source of drug to make you better understand let's draw a diagram as we know plant are very important source and any plant is having so many sub part or we can say there are so many part of plant like root this is root and you know what is example of drug which is obtained from root like ashwagandha like shatavari these are drug which are very important for the vital activity point of view these are used as a regenerative property so root is very important the next part as you can see here is either stem or bark considered is as a tree so it is bark so what are the example of drug which are obtained from bark like cinchona bark this give quinine with quinine is used as a anti malarial drug now other part of plants are its leaf so these are leaf what are the example of drug which are obtained from leaf part there are so many example like eucalyptus oil is obtained from the leaves tulsi leaf azar directa indica leaves 
नीम जिसकी बात मैं कर रहा हूँ एंड देर आर सो मेनी अदर प्लांट विच इज हैविंग इंपॉर्टेंट वैल्यू फ्रॉम देयर लीफ पार्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज फ्लावर लाइक रोज फ्लावर रोज गिव अस रोज वाटर दिस इज अ फ्लावर एंड दिस गिव रोज वाटर विच इज यूज इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सो मेनी कॉस्मेटिक एंड लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज फ्रूट फ्रॉम फ्रूट वी कैन ड्राइव मेनी ड्रग्स लाइक मॉर्फिन और ओपियम दिस मॉर्फिन इज यूज एज अनालजेसिक इज अ पोर्टेंट एनालजेसिक ड्रग सो लाइक वाइज देर आर सो मेनी पार्ट ऑफ एनी प्लांट विच गिव सो मेनी एडवांटेज सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एनी सोर्स ऑफ ड्रग Let's take an example. We have classified this table into three main topic. First, active principle mean what is the active chemical constant present in the any part of plant, their respective example, and particularly their use. So, first chemical constituent or chemical nature is alkaloid. Example of alkaloids are morphine. What is the use of morphine? This medication is used to help the relief of severe ongoing pain. morphine belongs to a class of drug known as opioid analgesic the morphine is widely used as a analgesic drug next alkaloid example is atropine it is very important drug which is used to treat the symptoms of low heart rate that is called bradycardia directly we can say it is used for the treatment of bradycardia or arrhythmia it is also used to reduce the salivation and bronchial secretion before surgery it is also used as a antidote this is important one please make it clear it is used as a antidote for the overdose of cholinergic drug or mushroom poisoning or organophosphate poisoning this is a antidote very important constituent of this atropine drug next one is imatin as name indicate it is basically used to induce vomiting apart from that it is a good drug as a anti protozoal and it also induces vomiting as i have said earlier it is produced from or it is obtained from epicac root this is very important property is emetic in case of poisoning we need emetic drug to vomit it out next one is glycoside the example of glycoside is digoxin which is a important and potent cardiac glycoside which is used for the treatment of cardiac failure we can say congestive heart failure also next one is fixed oil fixed oil are those oil which are stable at room temperature they do not get volatile example are peanut oil or any other like olive oil these are used as a vehicle in the preparation of parenteral preparation specifically designed for the intramuscular injection next one is volatile oil volatile oil is very essential they are used in many of the preparation of pharmaceutical as well as cosmetic in aromatherapy example include clove oil eucalyptus oil lemon oil ginger oil etc they are used as a solvent and a flavoring agent sometimes they are also used as a carminative ginger oil and lemon oil are used as a carminative carminative are those substances which are used for the get relief of stomach ache next one is mineral oil like hydrocarbon derivative example include liquid paraffin which is important part of cosmetic preparation which are used as a lubricant and laxative also next one is the resin under the resin there are tincture benzoin which are used as antiseptic it means reduce the infection from different kind of microorganism astringent which precipitate the protein and expectorant which expel the cough from the lungs expectorant is very important category of those drug which are used to expel the cough and they act by reducing the viscosity of mucus next one is oleo resin example include gum acacia gum acacia gum tragacanth these are used as a suspending and emulsifying agent they are also used as a binding agent in case of tablet preparation next and last one is tannins example include tincture catechu these are used as astringent and protective to mucous membrane as i said earlier astringent are those drug which are used to precipitate the protein so friend these are simple explanation regarding sources of drug i have given you the selected example only if you have not seen the whiteboard lecture of this topic please refer that this is for common and quick revision you can download the pdf of this note just go to the description box of this video the link is waiting for you thank you please do take care of yourself